My family is very important to me. Very important to me. We are very close. Some people will say it's not a healthy thing. We all definitely look out for each other as much as we make bitch and moan about each other from time to time. If I had a choice of not being close to my family or being too close, I'd start to to be too close. They all come first to my life before anybody. Yeah. This family works hard all year, and when they take a break, they do it in style. Over New Year's, they're holidaying at the exclusive Sheraton Mirage in Port Douglas, Australia. Phyllis costs $1,000 a night, and the family is being shouted a fortnight here by the big guy, Patrick Rippon. He's a self-made multi-millionaire property developer from Auckland. Pat's a very kind, giving, caring man, but he's a shit too. At 61, Patrick's on his second marriage. Nine years ago, he married Denise, or Peach, as the youthful 60-year-old is known. She sat there for six, seven years by herself and read books on the bed every night, and she really deserved to meet somebody like Patrick. Hi, darling. How are you doing? Are you doing sleep? I do. Save the chair for the team. Three of Peach's adult children and her only grandchild are here with mother and stepdad. They're all adults, grown adults. And you probably think it's very strange that they still want to go away with their family. They're as keen as mustard to go away with us. Patrick's shouting a lot of the holiday costs, but he won't cough up for every indulgence. Scott, did you oh, sign? You don't have to go through that now, Christmas. Scott, did you sign, sign for anything yesterday? No. Well, what, who's the signature with that please? That's your mother and wife's. That's your wife's. Man, so there you man. go. I'm the only one that's exempt. Correct. Correct? Yes. Right. Many might think that Peach and Pat make an odd couple. She's very calm and composed, whereas he can be very abrupt and abrasive. I am rude. I'm proud of it sometimes too. R I P G I N. But at least I get on and do my thing, and I do help people. Have you got that? But that's the way I am. I don't suffer fools. A lot of people would probably look at Patrick and think he's a very difficult person, but he's actually a very easygoing, charming kind person. You there? Are you about home? I'm looking forward to my massage at 12. Mm. I've got three hours in the salon this afternoon. 35-year-old Maria's marriage split up a year ago, so she and Scott are currently the single ones in the family. At 37, Scott's keen to find true love, but he gets a lot of flack from Maria and youngest sister Victoria in his search for his soulmate. What's wrong with her? She's about 14. She is not. She's 20. Oh, well, you said she was 22 before. She isn't 12, Victoria. She's well, also she got a tattoo. She's got she a tattoo on her bum, too. She's she rubbish. She was sitting at the pool yesterday next to us. She's, she's right. about 22. She's better. I'll tell you what, she's older than that thing that you were with the other night. She's only, <laughs> she's only 19. Go on about me. Sorry about that. He wasn't 19. She's driving a competition. How old you are? Oh. 24. See, he told me. 24. Yeah. We thought you were 14, go. sweetheart. See, 14 years get away. it right. I'm Italian. No, 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 no. Very nice. Bye. See, call me a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> The danger of jellyfish keeps most holidaymakers away from the actual beach, so the family are happiest hanging out by the very beach-like pool. There are still some stingers here, though. Well, have a look at him. He's got a problem. He's the bronze god. He's got spent fifteen hundred dollars on the sunbed before he came up here, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Just because I like lying in the sun or whatever, and sure, I don't even mind saying that I've had my leg, uh, my legs waxed. I mean. Big deal. I mean, you know, they get so bloody hairy. I, I want to get them waxed for summer, and they feel better in bed at night. <laughs> what do you get done to yourself when you go to the White House? You're you're only jealous. The White House is a certain gentleman's establishment back in Auckland. I pay for it. <laughs> Don't I, Spider? You have a free reign. Victoria's four-year-old Lauren is bewildered. Yeah. 
He's a spider. He's a spider. Because he catches everyone in his, his web. web. Oh, this is so good. Scott's never one to waste an opportunity in his search for love, but he is particular about what he's looking for. I like um, little women. <laughs> not so much Barbies and that, but I, I like somebody that's also not too bossy. Got my big fat wet wedding. He goes to the wrong girls. He goes for, as he calls them, sweet little pippies. The little girls at the bar, you know, that are 15 years younger than him. But for now, he's just looking for a date for tonight's New Year's Eve celebrations. You're wearing red tonight, aren't you? Maria's gearing up for the night too. She lives a hectic life, commuting between New York and Auckland to run her highly successful recycle designer clothing business. So she loves taking time out to pamper herself. I work long, crazy hours, so for me, it's my form of relaxation. So I have my hair done three or four times a week, nails done twice a week, toes done once a week. Are you right? She also loves treating her niece Lauren to some pampering. They have a special bond. When I'm away, I miss her like crazy. My little muffin bum. In Maria's business, image is important. I had my boobs down like seven years ago. I'm like a proud mother of two. <laughs> and um, I do have Botox and um, I do have my lips done, but I haven't had them done for a while, so I'm probably overdue. Now be careful, because you're not our brushes. <laughs> Ooh, feel that? Yeah, it's not hard though. Scott's also getting in the mood for the uh, evening now. Times, yeah. I've had lots, lots of massages, and this is one of the best. He can't help but charm his masseuse, but it seems he has managed to secure a date with his friend from the pool. <laughs> I was telling that her about the, the lady I met from Italy down by the pool this morning. She's coming along tonight. Ah, oh, you'll have fun. To Sissy's. You've got a good spot anyway. Yeah. For the fireworks. We're all going to have a hoot. As long as the girls don't get on the tips too early, we'll be fine. <laughs> hey, hey brother, excuse me. Yeah. To the family, the boss. Oh, <laughs>